Okay, so uh, Marvel's Strays, what I was thinking was um, Sloan Morgan Siegel, after the episode, it could be like, you know, established pretty quickly. He would be a talking uh, seagull that would fly between their apartments and stuff as like a good transition, riding like the thermals and like establishing the current time kind of day and weather is outside, you know, in a sort of creative way. Uh, Sloan, don't disappoint me. You got you got to you got to bring the money, ghost money back to me, to the living, you know, anyway, um, because I want money. Uh, then. It's like as if the seagull flies around and uh, he can get creative with it and have the trained seagull do stupid crap. <laughs> but whenever he needs to do something more serious, it's like as if the seagull temporarily transforms into him because he's like the reverse of them. And the joke is he's like a, a dead seagull that <laughs> was on a brew and proved himself worthy in life. So he's like more than a seagull now. Instead of the other way around, where they like got animal aspects, he's got a he's like a seagull with a human aspect. So it's like a, a funny joke, I guess. Ha ha. I don't know. I, I'm an idiot, but I, it's it's better than um, CW. No, it makes sense though. Death, you know, <laughs> who's <coughs> apparently being played by a cagey boy can just say that, you know, there's these troublesome, annoying teenagers who aren't alive or dead enough, so he's just having a seagull take charge of them because death deals with things like crows and seagulls, you know. Makes sense. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Nick Cage makes a three-second appearance if he wants to. <laughs> or just somebody does a terrible Nick Cage impersonation and he gives him a thumbs up over a phone. Yeah.